Hello everybody and welcome to the Whiskey Dictionary, where I do the research to try to teach you a little something about what you're drinking. Now tonight, I had an interesting idea. Actually, I should say a few weeks ago I had an interesting idea. Somebody suggested that I should do a review of some terrible whiskeys, and I started thinking to myself, what are the worst whiskeys that I've reviewed on the channel? And that's what you see before you here. So I've done all three of these, they've all gotten very much an ignore it from me. However, they've become kind of, kind of a... Uh, legendary on the channel as being ones that I openly mock very frequently. So what I decided to do tonight to try to give them all a fair shake, I wanted to try them all side by side and try to decide which one is the worst and which one is the best. So in case you don't recognize the bottles, this here is the proper 12. Now this was Conor McGregor or is Conor McGregor's whiskey um, that he is uh, getting through Bushmills. This is Johnny Walker Red, which is one of the best-selling whiskeys in the world, so probably doesn't need an introduction. And then this one here, you might not recognize, this is Black Velvet. It's also an extremely well-selling whiskey, however it's a Canadian whiskey, and it doesn't quite have the notoriety uh, in the US as, you know, these two here. So, Canadian, blended scotch, Irish. That's what we've got. They're all 40%. They all should be somewhat in the same ballpark. Uh, the price range on these, this is much, much less expensive. Um, I think this is the most expensive, but that's mostly brand name. I want to say this is about $30. This is this size bottle here is probably about like 17 to 20. And then this guy is, I want to say like 13 or 11. Um, so that's what we've got. So let's go ahead and pour. And, uh, you know, I might want to let them sit for a minute to open up the complexity. <laughs> Not at all. All right, so there's the proper 12. Here's the Johnny Walker Red. I'll leave that right in the middle. And here is the Black Velvet. Now, Canadian whiskeys tend to have kind of a almost fake caramel taste to them. Um, and if my recollection is correct, this is no exception. As far as Johnny Walker goes, um, this, this is a mixer. I'm going to be fair. This is one that's intended to be mixed. Nobody intends you to drink this straight. And that shows. <laughs> but doesn't matter. Now this guy, on the other hand, this one had all the hype that it could possibly have about it. And in my opinion, just kind of fell short. Um, it was built to be the, a competitor to Jameson Triple Distilled. And when you consider the price points and, and generally what is in it minus or nah, compared to how long it's been around and stuff, it, it's there's just no way. There's no way. You can't compete with Jameson first off. And second off, not with this. So, all right, let's go ahead and take a little, little taste here. All right, so we'll, we'll start with the proper 12. We'll start from the left. And we'll just kind of go to the right. All right, so... On the nose, um, there's kind of a one thing that I remember from my video, and, and it's very much coming out now, although I will say it's a little bit more muted, is this smells like a black Sharpie. Um, it's got that kind of potent kind of sharp smell to it that uh, makes you think that you're inhaling chemicals. It, it smells a little bit young, uh, but it will. Um, I'll be honest though, this does not smell quite as bad as I remember it, and I'm curious if anything has maybe changed, or maybe some of the barrels have sat around for a little bit longer. Uh, maybe the juice that they're putting into this, this proper 12 here is somewhat a little bit more mellow. But when I tried the original one, it was basically day of release, and it was pretty rough on the nose. So, I'll give it some credit. This uh, does not smell as bad as I remember. Doesn't smell good. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm gonna go to the next smell first. So this one is Johnny Walker Red. Yeah, that one smells exactly how I remember. <laughs> Basically gasoline, um, young, grainy, kinda, kind of just sharp and unpleasant. <sighs> There's supposed to be some smoke in here. I don't get it. I, I really don't get it at all. If anything, it's more like tar, <laughs> but just generally a very unpleasant nose. Like, whereas if, if you gave me a blind tasting and I smelled this, I would just say, like, that's a young Irish whiskey. This one, I would say that might not actually be something that you're supposed to drink. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and smell the black velvet here. <sighs> mm. 
Now the thing with Black Velvet is the nose is extremely muted. There's almost nothing to it. It's like smelling whiskey, va whiskey vapors. It's just nothing, right? If I had to pick something, I would say probably a little bit of caramel, but that's really it. All right, let's go ahead and get this over with <laughs> and have a taste of each one. Now, as I said at the beginning, I'm intending on picking my favorite and my least favorite. So I'm curious, because after nosing these and seeing the way that some of them don't quite reflect what my memory was telling me, I'm curious what I'm actually gonna pick. I truly don't know. So cheers to bad decisions. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> I guess you don't really need much more than that. Cheers to bad decisions. Mm. So, if I'm being fair, this is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I tried to say something nice. It's just terrible. It's so grainy. It's it's just young, grainy, fake tasting vanilla caramel nothing. A triple distilled, actually, I should be fair. Is this, yeah, it is. It, so triple distilled should not taste this way. It should be smooth. That's the entire point. And it's just not. It's harsh. It's gross. It's It's just sad. I mean, somebody in, in Connor's, you know, position probably could have made something better. But I don't know, because Bushmills itself isn't this bad. It's almost like they took the worst Bushmills and put it in the bottle. So I don't know. All right, let me have a little sip of water here. Cleanse the palate because I want to get all that nuance. All right, so let's go ahead and try the Johnny Walker Red. Long have Johnny and Walker Red and I been enemies on this channel, but uh, it's all right. We'll we'll try it tonight. Cheers. Mm. Do you ever think to yourself, why do I do what I do? <laughs> That's kind of the feeling I'm having right now. Why am I doing this to myself? I, I don't have a good answer for that, other than I thought it might be fun. Uh, this, this does not taste as sharp as the proper 12, but it does taste, it does taste pretty bad. Um, I'm gonna be fair though, off the bat, the, the, the front and mid palate are not so bad. There's a little bit of honey in there, and really that's kind of it. But where this really kills me is the finish. It's got a really nasty aftertaste and it just lingers. Like if it was nasty and it went away, like like shooting Jose Cuervo or something like that. Like if it was just bad and then immediately went away, I could deal. This lingers. It's almost like, like, hey, I'm here. I suck and I'm not leaving. It's like the guest at your house party that just doesn't go away. Ugh. All right. On to the next. Hmm. I'm having fun. Are you having fun? I'm having fun. All right, so the Black Velvet, part of me expects this is probably going to be one of one of the best. Uh, fun story about the Black Velvet that I kind of remember from the initial research is that um, this used to be served on submarines as one of the only uh, alcoholic drinks that the captains and officers were allowed to have on the submarines, and they were allowed a certain amount of it per day. And even that little bit that they had, they didn't like. <laughs> so it just kind of makes me makes me sad to think that somebody would be away at war and the government provides you alcohol and it's not even good. <laughs> like that might be the only thing that you get before you go into battle and ugh, it's disappointing. But let's go ahead and have a taste of this. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my gosh, that's so much worse than I remembered. Oh, oh man, that's so bad. This is so much, like I was reading through my notes of, of what I did the video on before, and I remember writing something to the effect of, you know, the taste was mostly just bland. It wasn't even necessarily unpleasant. I completely disagree with my own review. Bill, I either I've come a long way or I just have a bad bat. This is disgusting. Of these three, like, 
easily the worst. That's awful. The the front palette, the mid palette, and the and the finish are all just torture to my tongue. And and honestly, I am probably one of the whiskey tubers who is the least bit snobbish about taste. Like I I can drink other than Ed from Rocket Review. That dude's got me beat a hundred times over. But like most most whiskey tubers, we've developed a palate. I still enjoy crappy whiskeys to some degree. This is beyond bad. Wow. All right. Um, I'm gonna have to take another sip though because I just kind of ranted and I I don't. Ugh. Let me see if I can get any taste out of here for you guys. Ugh. I don't wanna. <laughs> Oh, man. You know, I just, just got a little hint of, like, a, like a kind of a gross caramel. <laughs> so, I think that's in there. It's that, like, fake Canadian caramel taste that, that I, it's, not all Canadian whiskeys are bad. But this one is very bad. Okay. Um, oh, all right, hold on. Now I have to, now I have to try to, Try. I'm gonna try them all one more time, kind of lightning round here. Mm. Okay. Ugh. After that, now I'm almost wondering. Like that might convince me that proper twelve is a decent whiskey. Hmm. <laughs> Man, no. Even that cuts right through the black. It's almost like layering bad taste on top of other bad taste. All right, um, okay, that has almost a, there's almost like a, like a weird herbaliness to the proper 12. Um, I think something like, is it mint? It might be mint. Yeah, it could be mint, or maybe like a sage, actually, which is weird. Um, maybe juniper berries, you know, something like that. Occasionally, I, obviously that's more of a gin thing, but... Occasionally, I, I feel like I taste juniper ber berries in Irish whiskeys, um, but either way, definitely like like spruce or or I don't know herb, herbs. Let's just go herbaceous. It's but still tastes very young, very kind of meh. I'm still recovering from that black velvet. That was brutal. Hmm. Johnny Walker Red. Still gonna, still gonna maintain. Uh, oh man, I think I just came to a realization which I'm not, I'm not happy about. The Johnny Walker Red might be the best of the three. It might be. All right, I'm gonna try one more, one more of this. Mm. Oh man. It's like a, it's like, it's like moldy and like, like, like moldy leaves. <laughs> I swear, honestly, I am not overacting for the camera. I, I could be in front of, I could be at like a fancy restaurant and I'd be making these gross faces at the table. I just like, ugh. All right. All right. No doubt about it. Black Velvet is the worst of the three. No doubt about it. This is where it's tough. Because they both have very negative points. But the positives on both sides are different. And I'm trying to decide which one I like better. So what I'm going to do. I'm going to try one more sip of each. Because there's just there's no coming back from this guy. This guy is just... I may as well throw it through the wall. It's so far back there. But. Excuse me. Oh man. So gross. Mm. I feel like uh, Sam from My Whiskey She Wines when she has a, a, a Isla. We haven't seen a face like that in a while. <laughs> the faces I'm making. Oh, all right. The Johnny Walker Red is starting to edge out the proper 12 as far as I'm concerned. Um, 
That's really bad for proper 12. All right, so <clears throat> here's here's my thoughts. I think if I had to pick one, I think I have to pick the Johnny Walker Red as the best of the three. And that kills my soul a little bit, but that alone should show you how sincere I'm being. Um, the proper 12 does not have the finish that the Johnny Walker Red does. And the Johnny Walker Red... For, you know, for all of its faults, the initial taste of it is okay. It's okay. It's very, very boring, but it's liquor and it's meant to be mixed. And I think that's actually part of what's, what's kind of helping to make this decision. This is supposed to compete with Jameson? No, just no. This is a mixer by, by name and by reputation. And... Even though I think if you mix this with some stuff, it would be okay. I think there's about a dozen things that you could pick in the same price range that would be better. Um, just look around. So, I am going to officially state that Proper 12 is second place. Johnny Walker Red is in first. And Black Velvet is just under the table. It's just gone. Get rid of that stuff. All right, so... <laughs> Thank you all for joining me here on the Whiskey Dictionary. I hope this was, I know it was a little different. I hope this was an entertaining video. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put up a video to all three of the reviews for these video, uh, for these whiskeys and go check them out. See what I used to think of these and see if my, uh, you know, my notes and stuff kind of match up. And if you've tried any of these, especially if you have all three, let me know which one you prefer. Let me know which one you like the best, which one you like the worst. Tell me your awful whiskey stories, because I've got a few of them myself, and they often come out on the live streams. So, thank you very much for joining me here, and I hope you have a great rest of your night. Cheers. Wait, I'm back. I totally forgot. In whiskey tuber tradition, I have to mix them all and try them out. Consider looking at the Patreon. <laughs> if if somebody deserves a little little uh, assistance, I, I feel like I might have earned it this time. All right, cheers, guys and gals. Somehow it smells a little better. That's peculiar. Down the hatch. I think I need to invest in a spittoon. <laughs> oh, oh. Mm, it's just, it's caramel and it's vanilla and it's putrid, putridity. <laughs> All right, I'm really gone this time. Cheers.